Hey everyone, welcome back to the South Metro Fire Rescue YouTube channel. I hope you all had a great holiday season and are enjoying the new year. I'm going to take you back in time to December 23rd when the Denver metro area was experiencing a very significant Arctic blast with some of the lowest wind chill values we've seen in decades. And it was a super busy day where there were three different working structure fires in South Metro's district. And we're going to jump right in to an apartment fire that happened that morning in the city of Littleton. I'm sitting in a three-story uh, apartment building. We do have heavy smoke showing. It's coming out of the Alpha side and Bravo basement units. Which alarm is going to be one inch and three quarter in the, in the front line, in the front door. Stay in the offensive mode. Which alarm will be Windermere Clan. Here's one I'll show you on scene of a three-story apartment building with heavy smoke from the Alpha Bravo basement units. You're pulling an inch and three-quarter through the front door offensive. You're assuming one to meter command, it's 839. Well, can we have engine 38 during us as water split? Engine 38, did you copy direct? Ladder 12 on scene. Engine 38, copy water supply. Ladder 12 copies, primary search basement. Ladder 12. From Battalion 2, I'm on scene. I got Engine 11 located on the Alpha side to stretch an inch and three quarter to the basement, long room for fire attack. You got Ladder 12 uh, getting you search got minimal. on the first or second floor. Can you confirm if they're split? And I received that you need a 360. That's correct. Give me a can, I'll take it from here. Battalion 2, Ladder 12 is going down to the lower unit with Engine 11. Hope fire attack is anybody missing anybody? Medical going to the second third Humans, is any humans missing? Alright. Okay, I copy that. You got uh, the ladder going to the hey. basement for the search, go and you got medic back. 11 going to one and two for searches on those floors. Hey, grab that hell again, brother. Let's Dispatch go this way. From battalion two. Tell you the Senate Command located in my vehicle on the Alpha Delta corner of the structure will maintain the offensive strategy. Okay, no good. It's already in there. And Medic 12, level 1 at Barry and Windermere. Medic 12, I'm going to have you uh, positioned for incident medical. Come on, baby. Dispatch from command, can you sign me to a additional medic in this place? Two additional medics, say 43. Confirm 
Engine 42, move up to station 6. Engine 11, can I get a camera report? I forced your store, here you got a boiler room, okay? It doesn't look like there's any extension, but it shares this wall. Okay, have you, have you opened anything up in there? Uh, no, it would be good to get these guys in there or somebody in there open up this adjoining wall. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna go up one more. The book of the fire dust was right in this room here. Okay, so let's open up the upper room. Okay. okay.
During primary searches inside this building, two different residents were found inside in the smoke and assisted outside to safety by firefighters. Thankfully, neither of those people experienced significant smoke inhalation and did not need to be transported to the hospital. Investigators from the South Metro Fire Marshal's office were unable to determine what caused the fire, but it was in a small room located within the utility area and laundry room of the building. While firefighters were still picking up from the first fire that occurred on Windermere Street, a water flow alarm occurred at an apartment building near Dry Creek Road and I-25, very close to South Metro Fire Rescue Headquarters. It was one of numerous water flow alarms that happened over those few days. Most of those were caused by burst pipes and water leaks. But when crews arrived on scene at this incident, there was an odor of smoke and they discovered that smoke was visible inside of a breezeway in a three-story apartment building and they determined there was a working fire burning between the ceiling and the floor of the second level of that building and it took a significant amount of work to open that space up and get water on the fire. <laughs> Thankfully, no one was injured when this fire occurred, and it was caused by a malfunction of an electrical heater that was in that space to keep the pipes warm. Behind the scenes at both of these incidents, South Metro staff members were there to support the operations in a lot of different ways. Emergency management was there to assist with displaced residents and make sure that apartment management and the American Red Cross had everything that they needed to help be successful with those displaced residents. We had the incident dispatch team on scene, which can assist with resource allocation as well as using UAVs or drones to better see the incident scene. Fleet was there and the emergency vehicle technicians were used to check on pumping apparatus since the temperatures were so critically low. We also had staff members from South Metro's Logistics Bureau on scene along with Arapahoe Rescue Patrol volunteers. They assisted with ice mitigation, fresh air cylinders, and rehab supplies for the firefighters which included both cold water and hot water to mix things like hot chocolate and coffee because of how awful the temperatures were and how cold everyone's hands were getting. Between December 21st and December 25th, South Metro responded to a total of 1,478 calls, and of those, 159 were for water problems, both for water shutoffs and for water flow alarms due to freezing and bursting pipes. We've received a ton of questions about apparatus updates, and although I don't have very many for you, I can give you a couple of them. So first and foremost, the brand new Medic 13 is already in service, and the new Medic 211 is up next. Thanks to Rocky Mountain Fire Photo for going out and capturing these images of the new Medic 13. All nine of the Medic units will look identical to each other on the outside, except for the number, of course, but we'll continue to keep you updated as those new Medic units arrive. The brand new Tender 41 
one is in Colorado and we should be getting it here to fleet very soon to get upfitted and get that vehicle in service. And we just got drawings, the very first drawings this week of the new ARF apparatus, which will go to station 35 and station 44. So here's a couple drawings of the Oshkosh Striker. And these are preliminary drawings. So there's a few different changes. One of the main ones will be some additional emergency vehicle lighting that will be added to the roof of those units since they have to respond on public streets to get to the actual airport itself. We've of course had a lot of questions about the tiller that is on order from Pierce. That is still quite a ways away due to build and order processing times. We're waiting on getting drawings of the tiller and I'm told that those should be coming in soon. So as soon as those get into my inbox, I will make sure that I include them in the next vlog. We'll keep you updated on the progress of all of those apparatus. And on to patch shout outs. It hasn't been too long since our last vlog, so uh, checking the mail, we have three patches to share with you. The very first one comes from Germany, from Sulzburg. The next one I have is from the US Search and Rescue Region 7. The last patch that I have comes to us from the town of Menishaw, Wisconsin in Winnebago County. As always, thank you so much for watching, for your questions, for your comments, for all of your suggestions. Um, a few questions about the new Fire Medic series and how often that's gonna be shown. Uh, right now I'm thinking that that's probably gonna be once a month, maybe a little sooner than once a month, but we're planning on having that series go through at least the rest of the year. And I certainly welcome your suggestions on that and how we can better tell our EMS story here at South Metro. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do that so that you'll know as soon as we post a video. And I'll catch you on the next vlog.